know, we're the United States Naval Academy, but about 75 or 80 percent of our student athletes on the football team uh, enlist in the Marine Corps, you know, get so service select the Marine Corps after, you know, upon graduation. And, uh, you know, we've, we've always teetered with the idea, but uh, we typically have only done special uniforms for the Army Navy game, and it is the Army Navy game. So uh, with this one, you know, for Navy Air Force, um, you know, and and the the uh, historical and remembrance of 9/11, uh, the 9/11 attacks, the Marine Corps um, is is you know part of the Naval Academy. You know, obviously with our former players going Marine Corps, but uh, it was a special way for us kind of to pay homage to the first boots on the ground after the 9-11 attacks. I mean, there were Marines everywhere. So we thought it was very appropriate for this game if we were ever going to do it. Um, it's kind of been up our sleeve for the past seven to nine years uh, since we changed uh, apparel manufacturers to Under Armour. And they've been great partners through this whole process. And we thought uh, this was the right time for us to honor the United States Marine Corps. So we're wearing a version of the Marine Dress A uniform, which is a combination of both enlisted as well as officer Marines. Uh, we're wearing a deep navy blue top that traditionally would be uh, black in their uniform, but it, it looks pretty close to black. But we wanted to mimic the uniform as much as we possibly could. Uh, the royal blue pants, uh, with the red blood stripe are incorporated in the uniform. Um, you know, the front of the uniform says Navy with the player number, obviously the rear of the Jersey says, uh, Semper Fi, um, which is the kind of battle cry of the Marine Corps, meaning always faithful. Um, on the pants, we have the iconic Eagle globe and anchor, uh, on the left hip, I believe as far as well as, uh, the left side of the wearer's left side of the helmet also has um, the Eagle Globe and Anchor. The messages, you know, like the back of the jersey says, Semper Fi, you know, be always faithful uh, as the Marine Corps logo, as well as, you know, on the front of the helmet, um, there's, uh, you know, the, the other cry is hoorah which is the battle cry of the marine corps so hoorah along with semper fi two of the most infamous uh, meanings and, and slogans of the marine corps are going to be fulfilled through this uniform and you know if if everybody's faithful and you know if, if the guy on the left is faithful to the guy on the right in the marine corps usually good things happen so the hope is that Everything transpires from the Marine Corps uniform onto the field. The planning stages for this uniform, we plan this 18 to 22 months out. Um, you know, all these uniform pieces were delivered in approximately uh, May. When it comes to Army, we've planned it 24, 18 to 22 months out. Um, we received all that uniform stuff in early July and Basically, in my world, I got to hide it from everybody else, you know, myself and a few of my assistants and, of course, coach and our athletic director, about the only ones that know what we're wearing on December 11th against Army. But the uh, the team will find out, you know, like I said, sometime after Thanksgiving. But the whole focus is at the Naval Academy and within our brotherhood is one game at a time and the next game up. The helmet is my favorite part of this uniform. Um, it's a pretty basic white helmet with a black mask, but we decorated it in such a way that, um, you know, the Eagle Globe and Anchors represent it. Uh, we made it all black parts on the outside, a white, white helmet to make it um, symbolize the Marine Corps cover that, you know, the hat that officers and enlisted wear. So I think that's the coolest feature of it that a lot of people may not really see or notice on television, but maybe when a guy goes to make a tackle, they'll see that kind of quatrefoil and cross coming at him.